Hi right, guys, I got Robin here from uh, Norway. <laughs> Are you still familiar with talking to cameras? No, not really. Just pretend he's not there then. It was dead weird when I first started. You pretend to see you. Yeah, whichever. I mean, I'll edit stuff anyway. So if yeah. it's not, if it doesn't, if it look hard, I'll just take it out of it. So basically, Norway. Uh, Robin's come from Norway. He makes a really nice axe called the Hordevile. We have here. This is like the template that he uses, uh, and he's flown over to teach me. We've got a few things, and I'll do it. I'll bring the camera up so you can see. Uh, and we've got two days, haven't we? Yeah, two days. Yeah, so twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hours to make an axe. Uh, Should work. A big axe, also perhaps. I'm going to get bits. I'm not going to film all of it. Uh, I'll do a little introduce Robin a bit better, and um, yeah, hopefully at the end we'll have a uh, maybe a finished axe. Of course, not heat treated. So yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, it's just going to be snippets throughout the day. It's not going to be like a proper how-to or really informal. Just I just want to record this for myself more than anything, yeah. and like we can enjoy it and watch it afterwards and have a laugh. All right, we'll see you in a bit, guys. No, no, it's cool. So here we are. Here's the stuff. All right, so we have a template. This is a traditional template that he likes to use. Uh, what would you say? What wood was this again? Uh, elm was it? Uh, yeah, elm. 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 Yeah. yeah. So. Um, I traditionally use ash, because that's what we have here, um, or hickory, which we buy, we don't tend to have that. And this is a template that he's got from stainless sheet. And then some of his uh, decorative chisels here, punches. Uh, this is going to be the edge. Uh, 80... 80 CRV2. 80 CRV2, which is inside. Uh, that'll be uh, welded, forward welded together. And then this is his drift, which is crazy, because this is... <laughs> <laughs> the size of this thing, I put it next to my drift. <laughs> that's nuts. That's a yeah, that's a huge difference. So it's about four pounds. Yeah, four. Yeah. So it's heavier than my axes. Yeah. It's like more than double. Yeah. Yeah, and it's made by C forty five. C forty five. Yeah, it's got it's, it's got it's stamped there. So yeah, uh, we will get started I guess, have to get some stuff cut. Right. Okay, so Robin's just sorting out the prep work for the blades, he's obviously done a bit of working out there, he just explained to me this morning. I'm not going to go through it because uh, you know this is Robin's kind of method and I don't want to kind of go stealing it. Uh, he's nice enough to teach me, so I don't want to sort of, you know, um, yeah, go around showing all these techniques and everything, the stuff he's learnt. It's like I say, he's uh, been nice enough to show me as it is. So I'm going to get the forge lit. And Robin's just prepping some of the stuff. He's just been talking me through his methods. And um, we're going to start, hopefully, getting the prep work out of the way. So like I said, we've just cut the piece, haven't we? The bandsaw. Right, I'll get this lit.
Okay, so we've just forged the eye, effectively like the, you know, the body exposure it was. Yeah. Robin just taught me through the process. I've got some of the bits there. Um, I've made a bit of a balls up with it already, but it's salvageable, you can fix it. And currently we have a big uh, round that we saw we caught in the bandsaw, the big solid round. That's to make the sense of the body, isn't it? So yeah, these will all be, you know, joined to be uh, like welded together. It is a big axe. What weight is it going to be roughly? Seven pounds? Seven pounds, yeah, so yeah, it's a big axe. <laughs> it's a monster. Yeah, I'll, do a zoom, I'll, yeah, I'll come and zoom in now so you can see it properly. Uh, you can see that way it's been upset and folded and that. But it's, uh, yeah, so far so good. That's what, <laughs> That's what we'll call you now. Alright, so Robin's having his porridge. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're not going to tell you what he's doing over there. But he's managed to destroy my forge. He's killed the poor little thing with his big uh, crazy axe. Yeah, the little door. Poor little thing. Yeah, so we need to fix that. And uh, he's basically just breaking everything. He's just coming around breaking all my equipment. Um. We've got these dies to sort out because Robin's got these uh, set dies for the power hammer that he loves. So we're making a pair. Here's uh, the drift. He spoiled that for me yesterday. But we need these dies to do the tapering. So we're going to get that sorted. Uh, yeah, busy day. Another busy day. We've got a meal. Booked for later, haven't we? Yeah. Cheers. Right, so we will crack on. Okay, so the axe is too big now, so we've got it in the coal forge. This is mine. Uh, yeah, it's going to be eventful. So we're a little nervous. <laughs> we don't want to burn it. Be very careful with the coal forge. It can get really, really hot very fast. So, yeah, most of the prep's done. Robin's made me some of these lovely dies. The drawing down dies, so we're going to use them today. We'll get some footage of that.
Okay, so we've just finished, uh, well, Robin. In fact, I've just been standing there watching him, but I suppose it's the best time to be watching him. Uh, profiling it. We've had a tiny bit of delamination, but that's my doing. Underneath here, you can just see. Um, but we think we can probably grind that out, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so we think possibly salvage this. It should be an issue. Um, but yeah, you can see it next to one of my carvers here for scale. That's a one pound axe. This is a, we say, is it nine inch? Yeah. A nine inch nine edge inch. profile, yeah. So that's obviously what we need to remove. Uh, or the BLA. And you said BL is over five inch. Yeah. So if any axe, is that any axe in Norway? Yeah, yeah. Any axe over five inch is a BL. Uh, so trying to learn some of the terminology. But yeah, we've had to, I don't know if you can see on the video with the coal forge. Lucky I left, I, I had a leaf blower here for, for click. <laughs> Making a racket. For making, uh, just get rid of all the dust. Let's have a good clean before Robin arrived. Uh, but in order to get the temperature hot enough for the for the welds, um, for drawing it out, uh, we've had to have this in the side. So our two blows going. Uh, my poor little forge was uh, glowing. But yeah, Chris turned up. He was looking. He's nice enough to bring us some uh, lattes. So a nice <laughs> a Greg's latte. Yeah, Chris likes his axes as well, don't you, Chris? More very tired, Robin. But we've got a lot of work to do, still, haven't we? Grinding, profiling, yeah. cleaning out the eye. We'll get there. See the stumps? <laughs> yeah. Just about. Okay, so now we have to heat treat it. We start with uh, normalization. Okay. How's it looking, Rob? Is it looking straight at the actual edge? Yeah, you know, if you look down it from underneath. Yeah? It's it's really like... uh, yeah. This part of the edge is good. This is slight, I can do that for Yeah, I know what you mean. But it's fine, yeah? Not a little tweak. Oh yeah, yeah, don't worry. Right, so the axe is, it's pretty much forged now, isn't it, Robin? It's almost, yeah. It's like 95%. Uh, it's been 90%, we've got to grind the edge. Uh, we're just heating it for normalizing now. So, basically all the forging is done. We've stamped it, I've got a friend to get me some footage because I, I was stamping it with him. And, um, yeah, so what we've got left to do, grind it, leave one millimeter of the blade, uh, heat treat it, quench it, and then uh, that's about it, isn't it? So harden it, and then we've got to uh, temper it. And, I can go home. and then Robin can go home and we've got to polish it, yeah, so yeah, he'll be, he'll be glad, it's been an intense two days. So yeah. Okay, so here it is. The axe is normalizing. See the stamps there. If it will focus, it probably won't now because it's just been awkward. But yeah, cheers, dude. Yeah, you've got the stamps there. You'll see it better when it's cleaned up. 
We've got some decorative work there. It's a very big axe. So the axe is hardened, Robin is very tired, and uh, it's currently in the oven, just tempering. So how long have we got? Another 40 minutes or so? Yeah. Another 40 minutes, and uh, it can come out and then it can be wire wheeled, uh, the final grind and polish, and um, yeah, then needs the handle making, so I shall show you when it's coming out. Okay, so the axe is done, and uh, <laughs> we've not had any time really to to enjoy our week, Robin. It's been a pretty hectic day, yeah. hectic two days. Um, so yeah, the axe is done. We had a meal last night, not a chance to show any footage of it. And now uh, Zoe's driving, and we're taking Robin back to the airport. So I basically, uh, I've used him for what I wanted him for, and uh, <laughs> now we're we're getting rid of him. We're going to take him to we're going to dump him at the airport. So there he is. Very tired Norwegian. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're probably in a robin. We've got the axe, we've opened the shop, it's made, and uh, yeah, just wish it was a bit longer really, we could have enjoyed it. But um, yeah, I'll get some nice footage of it. And uh, yeah, just basically to say goodbye. You guys that are interested, so the axe weight. Okay, it's weighing in at. Seven and a half pounds, so that's just shy of three and a half kilos. That's obviously without the handle. I need to make the handle still, and then I'll just get a tape for the edge, and the edge profile. So we're looking at eight and a half inches in total for the edge. Uh, it's got a 30 degree bevel grind, I think. A uh, flat grind, sorry. I will check that. So we ground it to 30. Uh, let's get the camera so you can see. So that's a perfect fit. Sorry, guys, the camera job is awful. There we go. Perfect. So it's a 30 degree flat grind. Um, seven and a half pounds or just over. And some decorative punch work. I'm really, really happy with this. Robin's a really, really talented individual, and I'm very grateful for him to come over to England and teach me his methods. So, Robin, I'm sure you'll be watching this at some point. Thank you very much. It was great having you over, and I hope the rest of you guys enjoy, you know, the bits of footage that I managed to get. It was a bit of a rush, but it was a definitely a bucket list thing. Um, so yeah, I'll try and get some footage, I guess, when I get a chance to make the handle. I've got the template, obviously. Uh, I'll carve the handle and then get out and try and use it. Try and uh, get some old, some hardwood logs or I suppose spruce or pine will be just as good to practice on. All right, guys, so there's the axe. That's the finished axe. It's beautiful. Um, yeah. Right, cheers for watching. Uh, I'll catch you again.